In 1953, the year Audrey made Sabrina, fellow Paramount star Danny Kaye became the first goodwill ambassador for UNICEF. He toured the world, creating awareness of the organization's work, pushing it into public consciousness. From this beginning, UNICEF's goodwill ambassadors grew into a legion of celebrities who have continued to donate their time for the sake of the world's children. In 1989, Audrey Hepburn volunteered her services to UNICEF. For Audrey, it was an easy decision. As a child in war-torn Holland, the United Nations had come in to the newly liberated country, distributing food to the starving, including herself. Audrey's time with UNICEF filled her life for her last years before she died. She tirelessly and bravely toured distant and dangerous parts of the world, often areas torn apart by ongoing civil war. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> Fireworks. Somalia, un paese in un stato di bisogno disperato. Audrey Hepburn. Appealing to the public in English, Italian, French and other languages, she made public service announcements asking for support. She gave press conferences where her heartfelt words stirred world-weary journalists. Ms. Audrey Hepburn. She appeared at fundraisers, testified before the US Congress, launched reports, hosted ceremonies, gave numerous speeches and press interviews and even designed fundraising cards. All this for a salary of one dollar a year. Audrey's time away for UNICEF was often extremely difficult for her. The suffering was hard to bear, especially when she saw so many children giving up on life and babies too weak to live beyond a couple of months. Conditions were tough. In areas ravaged by endless famine, it was hot, dry and dusty, with no relief from the heat. Flies crawled all over the faces of children and blighted what little food there was. People struggled to save just a shred of dignity as they crammed together in their thousands in camps. But Audrey ploughed on, unwilling to give up on these people. She gave them dignity as she gently talked to them about clean water, education and health. She immunized children, fed the starving, spoke with the people, and above all, cared. Buenos dias, señora. She could walk through a crowd and notice someone who needed her attention. In that moment when her face lit up with a smile and a welcome, that one person felt loved and special. When her plane or helicopter arrived in a remote and ravaged area, she was like a white angel coming down to earth. And when she embraced the children and warmed them with her smile, she brought hope into their lives. Audrey's last trip to Somalia was the most personally difficult for her. Conditions were far worse than any she had previously encountered. And she was already extremely sick, dying of the cancer that would take her so quickly. Two months after that last trip, she was awarded the United States' highest civilian award the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She was, by then, too ill to attend. Until her death, Audrey never stopped caring about the people of the world. Her dying wish was that the suffering would end in Somalia. There have been many wonderful ambassadors for UNICEF, but probably for most of us, Audrey Hepburn is the one who springs to mind. Her work continues still today. Her sons, Sean and Luca, with Robert Walder's continuing support, established the Audrey Hepburn Children's Fund, providing relief for needy children through a range of projects. And of course, UNICEF's Audrey Hepburn Memorial Fund continues to provide for children around the world. Audrey loved the words of Sam Levinson's poem, Time-Tested Beauty Tips. Part of it reads, For attractive lips, speak words of kindness. For lovely eyes, seek out the good in people. For a slim figure, share your food with the hungry. For beautiful hair, let a child run his or her fingers through it once a day. For poise, walk with the knowledge you'll never walk alone. People, even more than things, have to be restored, renewed, 
revived, reclaimed and redeemed. Never throw out anybody. Young, old, black, white, poor, crippled, maimed, it didn't make a difference. Everybody mattered to the extraordinary woman that was Audrey Hepburn. That was what made her so beautiful.